The Michigan Supreme Court is now dealing another blow to the state. Justices are denying the latest appeal dealing with the Midland and Gladlin County dam failures in 2020. Now this case goes back to the Michigan Court of Claims. All it means is after three years of the state of Michigan playing these frivolous appellate games, we're now going back to the trial court, Court of Claims, Judge Shapiro. This latest state Supreme Court ruling denies Michigan's request to dismiss a lawsuit against the Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy, also known as Eagle. Attorney Ben Johnson represents several people who lost homes in the 2020 Midland and Gladwin County dam failures. And even the ones that didn't lose everything have certainly lost a lot in terms of diminution or less, or less value of their property and so forth. In May 2020, heavy rains caused the dam to break, resulting in a 500-year flood, sending water rushing through communities like Midland, Sanford, and Gladwin. A lawsuit filed by Johnson on behalf of people alleges the dam owner and the state knew about the potential failure and did not fix the dams. And everybody always asked me, especially up in mid-Michigan, Courtney, like, why is it taking so long? Because the state of Michigan is playing this game that they've lost. Now they got to go back to the trial court and we can get busy and we can start to prove exactly what we think the facts are going to show from day one, and that is the state of Michigan not only could have prevented this, but they actually caused it by many of the decisions and things they did. Under certain laws here in Michigan, the state is able to appeal this lawsuit because of governmental immunity. Johnson says lately we have seen how the government has claimed immunity in some cases, saying they can't be held liable. In the Oxford Community School shooting cases, in the Midland flood cases, in the Flint water tragedy. What are we seeing the same way every time? And you're seeing litigation where when a governmental agency gets sued, they run off and get special automatic privileges on appeal that you and me as individuals, Courtney, under, uh, under Michigan law, don't have. What happens now? Attorney Ben Johnson says they are working on a motion to be filed in the Michigan Court of Claims asking to start taking depositions. The civil lawsuit still has a way to go. Johnson tells me that there's a lot of interviews to do and documents to go through. We'll continue to follow this case every step of the way right here on MidMichigan Now.